Do you have sensitive skin? Or do you know someone who has sensitive skin? Well, in today's video, we are going to be adding aloe vera to our cold process. So you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned and let's get straight into the video on how we made this phenomenal nourishing bar. Hello and good day, I am Natasha and welcome to Natasha Southern Sense. In today's video guys, we are diving into the world of aloe vera. We're going to be exploring all the benefits and beauties of this magical plant. And trust me, aloe vera is a magical plant and is excellent to put in cold process. So especially if you have sensitive skin or skin that tends to react to strong ingredients. Now before I explain some of the skin benefits aloe vera has, I just want to show you guys that I cut out approximately 5 ounces of this juicy natural ingredient and I'm going to blend it into my oils first. You guys watch the magic unfold as you see me blend this beautiful juicy ingredient into the oils. Now you could have pre-blended the aloe vera and then added to the oils and blended, but this is how I chose to do it in this instance. But look how beautiful it looks when it's thoroughly mixed together. Now I have already separated and measured out the oils that's going to go in each container and I've already done the calculations on how much lye water I need for each container. So for this aloe vera soap, I'm using fresh bamboo, which is a beautiful fragrance, you guys. It smells like green naturalness. But if you have sensitive skin, I would suggest no colorant and no fragrance. Just a natural aloe vera cold processed soap. I will admit to you guys, I will admit, I do not care for the color green, even though I feel like I look nice in green. Wait, hold on. Let me stop playing. I look good in all colors. <laughs> but for real, I do not care for the color. However, putting these colors together, this soap just, I mean, it just blew it out of the park. It just complemented it so well. So I did like a mini drop swirl on the side and then I tried to cover it with a layer of white soap to separate the next section which is the major drop swirls in the larger portion of the soap. didn't know aloe vera is excellent for your skin it's soothing and it helps to reduce inflammation in addition to help kill bacteria now if you didn't know if you're prone to acne 
whether it's on your face, whether it's razor bumps, whether it's on your skin or your back, bacteria is one of the main culprits in causing the inflammation of the acne on your skin. Aloe vera can help kill the bacteria that causes it. But when you put aloe vera in soap, you guys, it does something magical. It actually helps in the natural cleansing and antiseptic effect on your skin. So not only are you washing out the bacteria and dirt and oil from your skin because it's a soap, you also have the aloe vera that adds the antiseptic part of it, the antibacterial part of it, which further helps to nourish your skin. So now we got a luxurious cold process soap with some juicy juicy aloe vera in it that's going to help get that bacteria and dirt and oil out of our skin. Let's see what the soap cut looks like because you guys, some of these colors morph very differently once it cured. Are you guys ready for the soap cut? Hold on to your spinach leaves. Come on. Come on. Look at the soap itself. The design came out really, really nice. Oh, look how beautiful that is. So the soap on the right is the raw cut. It's a little bit rough at the bottom. And on the left, I'm just showing you me doing some edits to it a little bit so you can see how it came out. I needed to let this cure for probably another day before actually cutting it, but it's okay. Now at the bottom of the soap, you can see some of the blended aloe vera and I kind of like that it makes the soap seem a little bit more organic however next time I'm going to blend the aloe vera thoroughly first then add it to the oils and blend it again to get a smoother soap but as the soap cures it actually came out smooth that's why I showed you the soap on the left side this effect can also happen if you add a little too much sodium lactate to your soap which is a natural salt but overall as it cured it got much better I love how the green color softened in the soap. The soap smells phenomenal. It smells light. It smells beautiful. My goodness. You guys, I want to take this time out to thank you for viewing my content, for subscribing, and for commenting. Those things really, really help my channel. They really, really help the algorithm find my videos and push my content to the right audience. So thank you so much. And also share the video to someone you think could benefit from adding natural ingredients to their soap. But you guys are awesome. And I just want to thank you so much for viewing my content, subscribing, adding comments, and sharing. And here as an added treat, I'm doing a second soap cut. Well, this was me doing the drop swirl, but the batter got thick too quick on me. So it kind of turned into this army fatigue, uh, <laughs> greens in the metal kind of design, but it actually looks really nice. You would think that I purposely did that design. We, we could pretend like, you know, you know, I got skills like that, but <laughs> this is what happened when the soap got too thick and I still just follow suit and did the alternating colors into trying to do the drops well. I think it came out really gorgeous. And as you can see, the aloe vera blended perfectly in the soap.
we can't leave without doing a lather test. Let's see what this aloe vera soap gives us for bubbles. Can we get into this lather though? Look at these bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. All that aloe vera is just gonna nourish our skin. we got a bevel I mean beveling is like the icing on the cake it's like the milk in the cereal it's like the curry chicken to the white rice <laughs> it's like the oxtail to the rice and peas <laughs> you think about aloe vera soap I think is a great addition to your skincare routine I mean for goodness sake your skin is guarding you against germs and dust bacteria and bugs and oil and wind and people's breath <laughs> it is the largest organ on your body and it takes a real brutal attack every day these soaps came out so phenomenal if you guys like designs and soaps check out this video right here and let me know what you think you guys protect your beautiful skin and your beautiful energy i will see you on the next one